What's up, everybody? Today is Tuesday, February 4th. I'm Jeff Todd from MLB Trade Rumors. Let's get you caught up. Three weeks after a sign-stealing scandal engulfed the organization, the Astros have new baseball operations leadership. The club decided to hire James Click over from the Rays to replace outgoing GM Jeff Lunau. Now, with Dusty Baker also taking over for A.J. Hinch, there's all new leadership in Houston. The expectations will remain exceedingly high for this club. Unlike Baker, who only got a one-year commitment, Click is on with a multi-year deal. Now he's going to face some challenges. The Houston organization was just docked four draft picks, and it's seen a couple of major free agents, especially Garrett Cole, head out the door without any major replacements coming in. That being said, this roster is still loaded with talent, and there are plenty of resources for Click to work with certainly more than he had as part of the Tampa Bay front office. Let's not overlook the fact that this is a big ding for the Rays just before the start of camp. The team already lost Haim Bloom to the Red Sox. Now it's lost one of its other top baseball operations leaders. That will increase the pressure on GM Eric Neander, who's also now going up against two of his prior colleagues in the American League. February is time for camp. It's also time for extension season. We see more deals than at any other time of the year between teams and their existing players. This winter, the Mariners got an early start by locking up Tyler White earlier in the offseason, and now they've got to deal with lefty Marco Gonzalez. It's not an especially exciting pack. He's going for four years, $30 million, and it'll keep him around through his age 33 season in Seattle. But there's solid value there for the team, which is going to pick up control over two more free agent seasons in addition to the arbitration campaigns that the team already had. Gonzalez could earn up to $45 million if the team picks up a club option for a fifth season. It seems like a sensible deal for both sides. Remember, Gonzalez has been a solid but hardly an overwhelming starter since coming over from the Cardinals in the trade that sent outfielder Tyler O'Neill to St. Louis. The M's also picked up a potentially interesting young outfielder on the waiver wire, nabbing Jose Siri from the Reds. And John Jay and Edwin Jackson, two storied veterans, both signed minor league packs with the Diamondbacks. You can catch up on those minor signings and keep tabs on the Mookie, that's right, I said Mookie Bets trade talks, over at MLBTradeMers.com. And of course, subscribe below to keep up with all of our videos here.